stamina one PvP build video. Some things have changed uh, this patch, and um, we're gonna use some of these changes in our build. So I just wanted to give you an update on what I changed for Warden and what I prefer at the moment to play. I'm still Org. For me, Org is still the best race. When it comes to Warden, you get the damage, you get the speed, you get some healing. Other races are still fine. You can go Imperial, you can go uh, Nord, you can go Chikajit. Basically, every race works. Just some work a little bit better than others. I have all points in health because we are using Polar Wind and it's still super strong. Um, so, all points in health I have. Then, the Mondas we are using. Shadow for increased critical damage. Barfoot is the Ozogos Smoked Beer Hunch for the maximum health and for the Magicka and Stamina Recovery. And we are still Stage 3 Vampire for the Undeath Passive. Super strong. Makes you tanky the less uh, health you have. So it's mega bro. Um, Poisons we are using as usually the escape is poison when it procs 4.4 seconds of CC immunity and the target gets immobilized. Super strong, I really like it. And for potions, usually I'm just using the normal tripods, but uh, I still had some uh, heroism potions, so these are fine as well, giving you minor heroism for some more ult generation and since we are using Barlog it's nice so we either get our ult faster or we get more ult points to benefit more from Barlog. Yeah, coming to our armor sets, as I said I have two times uh, Barlog, two times heavy and impenetrable. I went for a more tanky approach but if you want uh, to go to kind of go more damage you can go full divines on everything uh, but here I just choose two times impen heavy uh, with the prismatic enchant front bar the sets we are, is, we are using is clever alchemist I swapped from stones to clever alchemist one reason is because we are, can't proc off balance anymore so stones is not an option and in general, Clever Alchemist is really nice. You get the two times HP, which is mega on Warden, and you don't have to proc it with an off balance. So, if you're really in trouble and need to dump fast, you have your potion up, you can just um, use the potion to cle proc Clever, get your damage buff, and you don't have to proc uh, the damage with, for example, off balance, whatever. If you don't like Clever Alchemist, you can obviously go for something else. Dune is still an option, but you would need to change one skill. So it's completely up to you. I really like Clever at the moment. We have a sharpened Battle Axe. Battle Axe because it gives 12% more critical damage. For me personally, pushing crit damage on Warden is actually kind of nice because Warden is a burst class and the highest burst you get is with crit. So I went with the Clever Alchemist here, um, then we have Clever Alchemist on the boots, on the legs and on the chest, three times reinforced with the Prismatic Enchant and Heavy, then the usual One Piece Trainee, which is a medium hand and sturdy also with Prismatic Enchant, then the Mythic is the Death Dealer's Feet and Infused. Death Dealers gives you shit tons of HP, Stamina and Magicka and I don't really like Coil anymore, like the snare is so annoying, sure you can counter it if you go with maybe some Swift or whatever, but I love Death Dealers, it's just some balanced set and great for one, especially when you want to stack HP. So Death Dealers it is here and Infuse obviously to boost our damage but my spell damage. The 5 piece we are using on our back bar is the defensive one this time and we are going with Hist Zap. 
His sap will heal you over 5 seconds when you get hit by a disabling effect. Basically, if you get stunned, immobilized, or get a snare, which is in open world, it's so often. And the healing you get from this set is actually mind blowing. Like, I was using combat metrics, I checked for like 3 4 days how that healing was, and it was just so much passive healing. It's just mega. I tried Mara's Balm. It was completely shit. Like it was maybe the, like 88 healing per second. And the burst heal you also didn't really feel because on one you're constantly cleansing with Natch, and you don't stack so many negative effects that you get the massive burst heal. So here I went with his sap. Just some mega healing. Sturdy shield, powered one-handed. Uh, two times jewelry and infused and a sturdy uh, sash with the prismatic enchant. On jewelry, the enchant changed. Basically, you always get weapon and spell damage, but if you go with the physical one, you get some stamina recovery. Magica one gives you some magical recovery. So it doesn't really take a big effect. So I just went with two times stamina recovery and one time magical recovery. It's not crucial, you can go all stamina recovery, all magical recovery. Just how I felt would be the best for me. Yeah, coming to our skills. One skill has changed. We are not using Dizzy Swing anymore. I swapped to Wrecking Blow because you get the major berserk for 5 seconds, which is 10% damage done. Really nice. Usually I play in group, so I don't need the DV swing for the off balance done. Wrecking Blow here is a really nice choice. Gives you the uh, major berserk. And you can, especially for example in group fights, you can just spam Wrecking Blow without risking to stun someone. And then you can't dump him because he's CEC immune. You can just spam it and you get the major berserk which is a lot of damage and wrecking blow in general already hits hard like it's i think same tooltip but the major berserk really makes a big difference then the usual ones executioner of course when our target is slow we want to use this deep fissure our delayed burst bird of prey for the usually we use it for the minor Berserk, so 5% combined with the Major Berserk, we have 15% more damage done. Then we get some crit because of the Advanced Bessie is passive, 4% for each companion. Animal Companion ability slotted, which is here, Deep Fissure and Bird of Prey. And we also get the speed and the snare removal when we use it. Lotus Blossom for the major crit buff and some small healing on light and heavy attacks. Our burst ultimate is Stormbreaker of Smiting. If you combine this with Fisher, you have some big AoE burst. And on our back bar, we are using Bolnage for as all sorts of major brutality, some stamina sustain, and the free purge every 5 seconds. And you can use it. Uh, like you can spam it and it will remove a negative effect on each cost. Leeching vines, some healing over time. Also, we apply minor life seal to enemies, and uh, we can also proc the mending passive, which is uh, this one when we are below 40% health. And here, also have the green balance ability, which is either leeching vines or lotus blossom. We get uh, major mending, which is mega, helps you healing up really, really nice. In group, uh, you can go with Botting Seeds instead, which is a nice AoE heal over time, plus it provides a synergy and a burst heal, either after 6 seconds, or you can proc it again to force a burst heal, just what you prefer in this case. Polar Wind, mega strong heal, scales of your maximum HP and with that build we actually reach 50k HP like close to 50k HP and it's like a 22 or 23k tooltip on polar wind 
and some massive healing. I hit some 19k polar wind on a mate, and um, you're basically just a heal board if you have enough magicka to spam it. And it's mega strong. Also, the heal over time you get after it really heals for a lot. Then we have Resolving Vigor, the normal healing over time, plus uh, we get Minor Resolve, 3k armor, so it's the usual healing every build runs now. Ice Fortress for the armor buff and some minor protection. And the defensive old healing thicket. I like healing thicket first for this overall style of that ultimate like you grow some some trees and it's kind of your safe place in there but you can also heal allies with it just nice yeah other options would just be spare wall champion points champion points really quick green ones are just gifted rider or mount rational and seeds blessing Blues, we have two defensive CPs, which is Ironclad and Focus Mending, 6% damage reduction for every direct attack, and 10% more healing done on single target, which applies to Vigor and Polar Wind. Then we have Fighting Furnace, 8% more crit, as I said, critical damage on Warden is always nice, and then we have Mustard Arms, 6% damage done. If you're still using Diddy, with Stun, for example, I would drop Mastered Arms for uh, Exploiter, right? 10% more damage done against people that are off balance. Red ones, Pain's Refuge, sustained by suffering, survival instincts, and we got Celerity. Celerity, that's more like a splex spot. You can also go something else. You can go uh, Relentlessness or uh, Slippery is also good. Juggernaut is fine. Uh, I just like celerity because speed really helps. So at some points, it's just mega. Um, yeah, basically, that's about the build. I will put some fully buffed sets on the screen so you can show and decide for yourself what. If it's something for you or you want to change it, keep in mind those are fully buffed with 500 bar log continuous attack everything procced self buffed still but um yeah in group it's strong solo you can do um you're pretty tanky just need to get around with not having a stun but you can get used to it all right enjoy the build and see you in the next video